this lesson, we are going to talk about notification templates. Notification templates are used to send emails to customers. So let's take a look. So let's go to the um, Autotask menu here in the top left corner and go to Admin. And as you can see, notification templates are one of the commonly used items uh, from within the Admin menu. So let's just click on it right here. And as you can see, we have a new screen. And in the screen at the top, you have a lot of different tabs. For example, for CRM, project, service desk, etc. And let's just take a look. So let's go to service desk. And as you can see, one of the first items here at the top is ticket created or edited. And as you can see in the name of the first template is customer facing new ticket created. And the description is when ticket is created, send notification to ticket contact telling them ticket was created and informing them of ticket number. So as you can probably hear from the description or read from the description, this is a message that is sent to the customer whenever a ticket is created. So let's just click on the edit sign right here and let's take a look what this means. So, um, Yeah, as you, as you can see, um, this is the um, edit screen or the notification template edit screen. And as you can see, this is just for customer facing communication. And as you can see, this, this template determines the um, content and layout of each um, uh, email message or, or each me message that you, that you want to send to a customer. And as you can see, this page consists of a few different uh, sections. So here at the top, you have the general information. You can, as you can see, this is the name of the, of the template, which we just saw on the previous screen, as well as the description. And here, a little bit below, you can associate this template with certain kind of events. So as you can see, the checkbox is um, marked right here. Um, in front of ticket created or edited. But as you can see, there are also different kind of uh, events that you can associate a notification template with. And here at the bottom of the screen, you have the email message. And as you can see, you have the subject message right here. And it's possible to um, use different kind of variables in the subject message, but also in the email body right below. And if you want to know which variables are possible to use, you will have on the right hand side here all the variables. So we have show all variables right here um, selected. But for example, if we want to show ticket variables, we can also display that. And as you can see, the ticket variables are um, displayed right now. And um, you will also have stuff like contact variables, for example, for first name or last name or stuff like that. So you can just play play around with it a little bit. Yeah, when you, when you want to use a variable, you can just double click on the variable. And as you can see, it's been added here right now. So we're not going to use this variable, but it's just to show you how it works. And as you can see here in the email body screen, you can just use the design tab to design it in line but if you have for example a, uh, a ux designer or something other um, within your company you can also use just the html and um, you can just copy paste it from from your designer and as you can see you can just use css in line if you want to use that and underneath you have the plain text email body for yeah, as you well know when html isn't supported and um, yeah, here underneath you have, you can select the send email from. So right now it's from our support email address, but you can also send all the emails from the initiating resource, for example, or um, select an alternate send from email address, or you can even select other and just send it from a very specific kind of email. And when you're done designing everything you want to, you can just send your test email here at the bottom. You can um, just enter your email address and click on the send test email 
you will get a test email uh, in your mailbox. Yeah, so those are the basics for the notification templates. So after you've designed um, all, all of your templates, let's go back to the previous page. So after you've designed all of your um, templates right here, and um, also don't forget to go through the different kind of tabs to see which templates there are. One tip is uh, to, to not forget the client portal task fire tab, because of course it's customer facing. And as you can see, when you scroll down to the bottom, you can also edit the client portal user welcome um, email and reset password email and even the password changed email. So those are different kind of uh, messages you probably want to um, customize. And after you've done that, you can just go to the workflow rules and make your own workflows. So you can set a certain kind of triggers to send certain kind of emails or messages at certain time points. So let's take a look at the workflows. What we can do is we can go back to the admin menu by clicking on this arrow right here. And we can go to the automation tab, as you can see here at the top and um, go to workflow rules, expand on that and select workflow rules. And when we select it, it will open. And as you can see, we can just create a new workflow rule here at the top. And when we click on it, a new screen will open. And as you can see, there are certain kind of triggers um, for when you can send notifications. So you can, you have a lot of triggers right here at the top under events. And when you've selected the right trigger, for example, when a ticket is created by anyone, and let's give it a name. So right now I will give it the name test. And we can select certain conditions. So when a ticket is created by anyone and for example, the due date is changed, we can perform an update, um, let's say issue type. Let's just keep it at this. So we have something we have right now. And when you go to the second tab notification here at the top, as you can see, we can send different kind of notifications to different kind of persons. So first let's select the recipient. So let's say, for example, we want to send an email to the, or a message to the assigned resources. And here at the bottom, we can select the notification template we want to use. So as you can see, you can select all, all different kinds of notification templates. You can even change the email subject right here. And you can, for example, select, um, yeah, an, a, a notification recurrence if you want to. So for example, repeat every five days. It's just um, an end after two occurrences. So yeah, it's really flexible. You can do a lot of different things with, uh, with workflows. And as you can see, there are a lot of different events or triggers. So we have different kinds of events, for example, for CRM, for projects, for service desk, service calls, timesheets, contracts, etc., etc. So yeah, our advice is to just play around with it a little bit and let's see um, yeah, what kind of notifications you might want to send either to your customers or to the users or um, to your internal resources.